Hi, I'm Don Carr, and today I'm going to show you how to play Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Landslide is from Fleetwood Mac's 1975 self-titled album, written and sung by Stevie Nicks, and all the guitars were played by Lindsey Buckingham. Now, the intro and the A section use three chords and one single picking pattern. So let's start with the three chords. The first three chords are E flat, B flat with a D in the bass, and C minor seven. Now, to get the sound of open chords and ringing strings with chords that are normally barred, we'll use a capo. You put your capo at the third fret, and here's the chord shapes. The first chord is E flat. Put your ring finger on the fifth string at the sixth fret, your second finger on the fourth string at the fifth fret, and your first finger on the second string at the fourth fret. Now, if you were in the first position with no capo, this has the same shape as a C chord. For these three chords, we'll only be using the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings. We're not using six or one. The second chord is a B flat with a D in the bass. So put your second finger on the fifth string in the fifth fret, and your pinky on the second string in the sixth fret, like this. The third chord is a C minor seventh. Put your second finger on the fourth string in the fifth fret, and your first finger on the second string in the fourth fret. The fourth chord in the song is the B flat with the D in the bass, just repeated. You might be tempted to use other fingers, especially for the B flat chord, but this fingering keeps the chords connected sounding and flowing, which is one of the coolest and most distinctive things about the guitar part. I mean, it's the same reason we're using a capo to keep the chord changes flowing. If you have trouble using your pinky or making any of the chord changes, practice by deliberately changing each chord individually. Now you can do that by just giving each one a strum to make sure every note sounds really clear and focus on moving your fingers into position for the next one like this. One of the keys is to not flatten your fingers on your fretting hand. You may have to shift your wrist forward so it's almost parallel with the bottom of the neck. You want to get the open notes to ring and remember that for these chords, we're only dealing with the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings. We're not using six or one. The picking pattern is the same for all of the chords. The pattern is five, three, four, two. Now I play a hybrid pick style with a flat pick and fingers. So I'm using my pick on the fifth string, middle finger on the third string, pick on the fourth string and ring finger on the second string like this. If you're playing without a pick, use your thumb on the fifth and fourth strings, your first finger on the third string, and your second finger on the second string. Now, I'm a little clumsy without a pick, so bear with me, but it'll look something like this. The key to this pattern is speed and evenness. You really want it to flow. Practice it slowly, get it really smooth and even, Pay attention to the volume of each note and the rhythmic spacing. When it feels comfortable, add the chords in. These chords will get you through the intro, the A section, the instrumental section, and the outro. The B section has a few different chord changes, but apply the same idea of our picking pattern to those chords. This is a good basic overview of getting you started with this song. Thanks for learning it with me. Have fun playing this classic tune. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. 